This is the final race against time, when humanity must choose between crisis and change. Fossil fuels gave us power, but at a cost that the Earth can no longer bear. Now, a quiet revolution is underway. From deep mountain caverns to towers that breathe with gravity, engineers and dreamers are designing machines that could rewrite our future. These aren't just inventions, they're lifelines. As solar and wind rise, one question echoes louder than ever. How do we store the power when the sun sets and the wind sleeps? The answer lies in gravity, air, water, and the will to innovate. When the lights go out. In August 2020, California stood at the edge of a modern energy crisis. As temperatures soared past the 100 degree mark, air conditioners roared across homes, drawing more power than the grid could give. Then, the unimaginable happened. At 6.30 p.m., the lights flickered off. Half a million people were suddenly in the dark. It wasn't a storm. It wasn't sabotage. It was a sunset. As the sun dipped, so did California's solar energy supply, precisely when demand peaked. The wind wasn't blowing either. Backup sources, usually imported from neighboring states, were also dry. The entire western U.S. baked under the same heat dome. Everyone needed power. No one had extra. This wasn't just a blackout. It was a warning. California, a global leader in renewable energy, had more solar panels than ever. But without a way to store that energy, the system failed exactly when needed. It showed the world a hard truth. Green energy alone isn't enough. We need storage, power that can wait, power that can leap into action when nature pulls away. And so began the hunt for the ultimate battery, not made of lithium, but of imagination. The Renewable Dilemma The rise of wind and solar has been nothing short of extraordinary. Two decades ago, they were novelties, symbols of a distant dream. Now they're everywhere, spinning and shining across landscapes and rooftops. But their strength is also their weakness. Sunlight doesn't follow schedules. Wind doesn't sign contracts. These energy sources come and go as they please, and the grid was never built for such unpredictability. Coal and gas plants could always be counted on. They burned, they produced, they delivered, but they also polluted. So the world began to change. Cleaner energy took the lead, yet it brought instability. You can't store wind, you can't freeze sunlight, unless of course you try. That's where the next chapter begins. It's not just about capturing energy, it's about holding it like water in a dam until the moment it's needed. This is where engineers are focusing their fire, not just on producing power, but on taming it, holding it still, releasing it in perfect rhythm with the beat of a sleeping world. The future depends not on how much green energy we make, but how wisely we save it. A mountain full of power. A giant breathes high in the Swiss Alps, buried beneath stone and silence. It doesn't roar, it hums. This is no ordinary power plant. It's a gravity battery built into the heart of a mountain. When the wind howls and the sun blazes, the surplus electricity pumps water upward into a high reservoir. And when the skies go dark and the grid is desperate, the water is released. It rushes downward through turbines, unleashing energy on command. It took 10 years to carve this colossus into the mountain. No roads led to it. Every piece of equipment was flown in by cable, lifted into the sky, then lowered into place. Workers dug tunnels into ancient rock, building concrete caverns larger than cathedrals. Massive turbines and transformers were lowered, aligned, and sealed beneath thousands of tons of stone. This facility can power up to a million homes at peak demand. But more than that, it proved something important. Nature can store energy if we know how to work with it. In Switzerland, gravity has become a silent ally, waiting patiently to fall, spin, and save. One dam, two lakes, infinite potential. Clockwork power. Far from the Alps, another idea was quietly ticking into reality. 
An old grandfather clock offered an unexpected lesson in a small workshop in Scotland. Its weights fell slowly, turning gears, marking time with gravity. Engineer Peter Frankel stared at it and saw something else. Not just timekeeping, but energy storage. What could massive ones do if falling weights could power a clock for centuries? That question gave birth to gravitricity. Instead of water, they'd use steel. Instead of mountains, abandoned mine shafts. The plan was simple but brilliant. Lift a heavy weight using surplus electricity, then lower it to generate power when needed. Fast, efficient, almost eternal. They built a prototype, a steel tower with 50-ton weights hoisted skyward. When dropped, the weights spun generators, sending electricity surging back to the grid in under a second. But there was a catch. The weight bounced and power flickered. So the team tweaked the software, calmed the swing, and smoothed the output. It worked. Like a perfectly wound clock, it delivered power with precision, not minutes later like hydro, but instantly. In Gravitricity, centuries-old mechanics met cutting-edge software to forge a new kind of battery, pure, mechanical, and endlessly repeatable. Stacking bricks, storing power. In Switzerland, a tower rises not to touch the sky, but to harness gravity. Energy Vault is a storage system made of heavy blocks with robotic precision. When the grid has surplus power, a crane lifts blocks high. When demand spikes, the blocks lower, generating electricity. It's that simple. But simple ideas demand complex execution. Bricks that swing could crash the system. So engineers trained AI to control every movement, correcting wobbles before they began. Even the blocks are a marvel, made from compacted soil and recycled materials instead of concrete, lowering cost and emissions. This system doesn't rely on rare earths or toxic chemicals. It's clean, mechanical, and fast. And the best part? It works wherever you can build a tower. No sun required, no wind is necessary. Just gravity, waiting to be put to work. Energy Vault doesn't look like a battery, but that's what makes it special. It rewrites what energy storage can be. Liquid air, hidden power. At first glance, turning air into a liquid to store energy looks like science fiction. But at Highview Power in England, it's real. Their system freezes air to 196 degrees C, shrinking it to a liquid. This liquid air waits in insulated tanks. It's warmed, rapidly expands, and spins turbines to generate electricity when needed. The brilliance lies in the reuse of heat and cold. Instead of wasting energy, Highview captures it, storing the heat released during compression and the cold generated during expansion. When reintroduced later, efficiency jumps. This isn't just air, it's controlled power, ready for long stretches without wind or sun. Unlike lithium batteries, this system uses no rare metals, no toxic waste, just air, tanks, and turbines. It can be built at an industrial scale using off-the-shelf components. More tanks mean more energy, allowing for days, even weeks, of storage. In an unpredictable world, Highview offers a quiet, steady answer. A breath of stored air, a promise of light when darkness lingers. The grid's balancing act. Electricity is instant. The moment you turn something on, power must be there. With fossil fuels, this was predictable. But with renewables, the rhythm changes. Clouds drift in. Wind dies suddenly. The grid has seconds, sometimes less, to respond. Delay can mean total failure. That's where ultra-fast storage steps in. Systems like Gravitricity's mechanical weights and Highview's liquid air don't just store power. They deliver it fast within a second. Traditional solutions like hydro take minutes, but the future needs milliseconds. Precision is everything. The grid doesn't just want power, it demands balance. Even small fluctuations can cause blackouts, so engineers are building systems that react in real time, smoothing chaos into calm. 
It's like a conductor leading a wild orchestra of machines, weather, and demand. Behind every light switch is a dance of timing and technology. As renewables rise, the grid must become smarter, faster, and more stable. These storage systems are the new rhythm section, keeping the beat alive. The global push for innovation. Every continent is racing toward the same goal, clean, reliable energy. But to get there, storage must evolve. It's not enough to generate solar and wind. We need ways to hold that energy and release it exactly when it's needed. In California, batteries are growing in number, but they can't carry the grid through long nights or cloudy days. Around the world, engineers are dreaming beyond lithium, soil bricks, falling weights, and liquid air. These aren't just science projects, they're lifelines. Innovation is everywhere. Startups and giants alike are rethinking materials, software, and physics. Some are replacing concrete with recycled materials. Others are training AI to steady massive cranes or smooth out weight drops. Every breakthrough chips away at fossil fuel dependence. This is more than an energy challenge. It's a climate deadline. The world doesn't just need power. It needs power that can wait, move, and last. As these machines rise, so does our hope for a cleaner, more resilient future. This is the moment where choices shape centuries. Fossil fuels brought power, but at a price we can no longer afford. Now, new machines are rising, quiet towers are being built, and there are buried shafts and frozen air. Each one a promise. Each one a step away from the edge. The challenge isn't just to produce clean energy, it's to hold it, release it, and trust it. Engineers are not just solving equations, they're writing the future. In steel, stone, and silence, they are building the systems that might just save us. The sun will set, the wind will rest, but the power, it will still be there, waiting, 